Finding Nemo was a huge success in 2003. So big, in fact, the movie's popularity impacted the real Nemo fish. With demand for clownfish skyrocketing, too many were moved from the ocean to pet stores. That hurt the wild population. Will Finding Dory have the same effect on the blue tang? I went to the aquarium and asked a real expert to break down why you should find Dory at the theater, but not at the pet store. Children are going to see this movie and they're immediately going to want a Dory. But, but not just children, Matt. Okay. I would well, want you can a, Dory. Have a Dory too. No, you can't. Um, so that was that was harsh. Finding Nemo is such a huge movie, and now Finding Dory is coming out. Is this even a bigger issue for, say, the type of fish that Dory is? The problem with Dory is that she can't be bred at the moment. She's not being bred in captivity. Um, so we, we don't want to see mass numbers of these fish being taken or an increased number um, over what's already being pulled out for the aquarium hobby. Um, on the, the plus side though is in time, um, through people gaining more experience with this fish, is we will likely see successful breeding. Walt Disney was big on conservation. Conservation isn't just the business of a few people. It's a matter that concerns all of us. For something like Finding Dory, is it more of a negative or more of a positive, in your opinion, for these types of efforts? I would say it's certainly, certainly more of a positive. Children can go and see this movie with their families. It's a whole young generation of kids that are now interested in the ocean and in marine biology and what they can do, you know, to, to try to save the world. So what happens to an aquarium like this when Finding Dory comes out? Do, people, do kids just run in here and go, can you help me find Nemo and Dory? And kids love it. They, as soon as they come through the doors, they're, they're looking in every exhibit for their favorite character. Um, they don't always spot the right one, but they spot one they think is that fish, and then they're banging on the glass and screaming Nemo. It's cool because they, they do light up and you can see this genuine interest that they have. It's the, the kids who are our future. Um, we, we need them to learn as much as they can about the environment and how to protect it.